Hello, my wonderful Cancerians. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today's video will be your general reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. Okay, guys, so we have the card number nine, which speaks about forgiveness, seeking, freedom, healing. So these cards actually have a shadow message as well, um, and it is a new deck, so I'm just going to open the guidebook here really quickly. But it's interesting because when I first viewed this card, I did feel or I got the word windfall. So there could be a windfall of whether it's, you know, your income is increasing. Um, abundance means something different to everyone. There could be healing taking place for some of you. We have the word answers here. Um, and it also says forgiveness, seeking, freedom, and healing, okay? So some of you are rising above a situation this week, okay? And you are in more of an independent energy because the card number is nine. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. The meaning of Sandal Finn's name, um, my apologies guys if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, is fuzzier than most of the archangels. Some say it means brother together in reference to his relationship to Archangel Metatron who has a similar backstory. Many think of him as the Archangel of Music, and that's true. However, we prefer to focus on what we consider to be his higher purpose as the conveyor of prayers. He is known to carry our prayers to heaven and to deliver answers back to us. In fact, he is said to be so tall that his feet are on, that his feet are on earth and his head is in heaven. When we need compassion for others, prayer can deliver. It can push away our egos and wash away the human urge to hold a grudge, allowing us to be in a place of charity, grace, and forgiveness toward toward others fully. Turquoise is a color of kindness and forgiveness. It's also known as one of the colors of ascension because of its high vibration. Turquoise energy allows us to rise above any situation, no matter how challenging or painful, to see it from the most divine perspective. Allow turquoise to help you see the wisdom of the situation and ultimately set you free. Remember that forgiveness is a journey and not a destination. <clears throat> Okay, so so far, guys, this is a pretty powerful message here about maybe even forgiving a person or a situation for the sake of your peace of mind, right? So, it, you know, it could be that I'm speaking to some of you that are upset with an individual or you are upset about a situation, whether it's because it did not transpire the way that you wanted it to or you're facing some sort of betrayal. Um, but this card does speak about prayer or just releasing, right? Everyone's way of releasing is different in order for you to gain some sort of peace for yourself, right? Putting your ego aside and saying, okay, well, this person did hurt me, but I understand you know, their perspective. And it's not saying okay to their behavior or even being okay with how they've treated you, but I think it has more to do uh, with yourself and, and attaining a peace of mind here. So this shadow message of this card, um, so you may be in a place of doubt and unforgiveness. Is it possible that you're walking through life in a trance, not seeing that the answers to your prayers are right in front of you? Um, Angel wishes you to reconnect you to your faith and your ability to have compassion for yourself and others to help you wake up to the signs that are around you telling you that all will be well. You're not alone. Okay, so pretty much the shadow message here, guys, is if you're in a place where you're having a hard time forgiving, okay, whether it's you're holding on to a grudge, whether it's you're having a hard time healing from something that was said or done to you, the shadow side of turquoise gently points out that you may be holding on to a grudge. Yeah, your thoughts and emotions can be perceived as petty or stagnant. So if there's a lack of forgiveness, currently in your life or you're having a hard time forgiving a situation it is it could be causing you to feel stuck okay um by inviting in turquoise energy give yourself permission to rise above your ego and approach life from the divine okay 
So, you know, pretty clear message here. I think this card does have a lot to do with forgiveness, but for some of you, you're feeling a very stagnant energy because you're holding on to a grudge. So like, even if it is um, holding on to a grudge in one area of your life, you're starting to realize that it's impacting other areas of your life, right? And so mentally you could feel stuck, energetically you could feel stuck. And some of you even feel like you have some sort of a creative block at this time. Okay, and so the main thing that you're uh, wanting right now is a peace of mind, maybe to let go of some sort of chaos. And I do feel like, or I feel called to tell you guys that I'm not taking away from a loss that, you know, you're going through, whether it's emotional, you know, whether it's uh, quite literal, like losing a job, you know, that sort of thing. But I am saying the more that you hold on to some sort of anger or sorrow, you will continue to feel stuck, kind of like that hanged man energy. Okay. So let's move forward. Um, let's see what your financial message for the week is. <clears throat> and, you know, oftentimes when we're holding on to anger, you know, grief or um, sorrow, we are blocking something or we are blocking what's um, coming towards us, right? Because holding all that emotion it is an energetic block so you're not making room for anything new okay so just to be wary of that because that is the shadow side of the card but you know for others of you you may resonate with um you know just putting your ego aside and actually being able to forgive someone this week and saying you know what i understand this person's perspective i may not agree with it but i'm no longer going to you know be consumed by it or let it hold so much power over me Okay, guys, so we have the card passage. Your current situation is a means to an end. You are making the uncertain voyage to a new world. Enjoy the discoveries as you go. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, you know, this is kind of a message of whatever you're going through is temporary. So because it's coming out as your financial message here, I do feel you know, it says you are making um, the uncertain voyage to a new world. So for some of you, you have a lot of questions. You may feel like there's a lack of, uh, you know, clarity in where you are headed when it comes to whether it's a job, whether it's a business, right? This speaks of your finances. Um, but it says enjoy the discoveries as you go. So it's almost giving me that energy of you will receive answers as you go. But it's about, you know, one one foot in front of the other right taking taking the necessary steps forward and the clarity comes as you go i feel like for some of you you could just be questioning you know is this for me or is this going to work out the way that i want it to bottom of the deck we have unfolding access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly you are growing as you learn more and keep expanding so this is kind of giving me the page of pentacles energy where you could Feel like you are a student this week or you are further developing a skill that you have maybe you are taking a new course this is about expanding right but more so about attaining more knowledge so even if you are familiar with the topic there is more for you to learn the more you know the more you grow right so um, it does say you are growing as you learn more and keep expanding and it says access to great greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly so something may not be happening for you cancer as quickly as you want it to but it doesn't mean that it's not happening for you at all. Okay. Let's see. So we have the five of swords here and we have the four of swords. You're healing from conflict this week. So it could be a conflict where, you know, it, it involves you and someone else, right? So quite literally an argument or a misunderstanding or the five of swords could speak about mental conflict. So if you have been feeling mentally conflicted or there is a scenario or a person that has been taking up a lot of your mind space, I see you healing that this week or at least <clears throat> making peace with it. The four of swords is about healing, making peace with the situation. It's also about spending a lot of time in solitude where, you know, critical thinking takes place. So I feel like for some of you, um, you are feeling a bit more isolated this uh, upcoming week here. It's more about maybe 
uh, spending time on your on your own doing you know dabbling in hobbies or just you know getting that much needed rest because the four of swords could also speak about you know uh, resting fixing your sleeping pattern maybe some of you are feeling um you know very tired you know more lethargic than usual and so that could be something that you're working on as well cancer okay So we have the Ace of Pentacles. My apologies, Cancer. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Let's see. The Three of Pentacles. The King of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, wow. Temperance. Something about feeling more at peace but on your own or people being more of a bonus in your life so you know whether it's you were in a codependent situation or whether it's you felt like you kind of um you know you were relying on something or someone for some sort of happiness i see that coming to an end to the high priestess okay six of swords the hanged man four of cups Nine of Wands. Okay, Cancer, there's a very clear message here <clears throat> about gratitude. So something is coming in for you, or you may have attained something here, um, you know, for yourself. And maybe your past self wanted this, or this is something that you've wished for. But it's almost like something has taken a very long time to come in. By the time that it comes in, you're kind of like, ah. Uh, you know, kind of like nonchalant about it with the Four of Cups. So there's something about gratitude coming through very strongly here. Okay, so expressing gratitude for what it is that you have. Look around you right now, right? You definitely have at least one thing that you wanted a couple months ago or maybe even a year ago. So starting off with the Ace of Pentacles, I definitely see a lot of stability. Okay, your focus is stability. So introducing more structure into your life this week could be a really big thing. And with Nine of Pentacles, there's a very independent energy. Even this card is the number nine, right? And so um, you know, not only are you stepping into an independent energy, there's something about people being a bonus in your life and you putting yourself first. So maybe you put your own desires on the back burner and you were trying to take care of those around you or your loved ones, but it's about pouring into your own cup here. Now, with the Three of Pentacles, it could speak about some sort of teamwork or collaborating with, uh, you know, more than one person and learning something from them. But for you with the Three of Pentacles, what I'm getting here is some sort of like you are working on something but this is about going that extra mile right doing the thing that no one else is doing and so i also feel here that it's not just about the work that you're putting out guys it's quality right the quality of your work so that's coming through very strongly so even if you are working on something well you know maybe you have an idea where you're like hmm, no one else is doing this in my industry maybe i should try it and you're receiving that intuitive download for a reason it can actually help you or lead you to more success than you already have the other thing i will say here guys is like if you're feeling overworked or drained focus on the quality of your work and not the quantity right so if it's um you know if you're like okay i need to pick up more hours maybe it's just about spending the hours that you do have at work but you know utilizing them in a better way or being better when it comes to time management if it's you know to do with your business maybe it's not about um how often you are you know giving your audience something maybe it's what you're giving your audience do you know what i mean um, and so with the King of Swords, I will say you're becoming very clear on what it is that you want. You're, you may be cutting ties with people, places, you know, things that just no longer serve you. King of Swords is you being very truthful with yourself this week, Cancer. Um, you're starting to realize what no longer serves you and you're tired of what's hindering you. We have the Temperance here. Some of you may have Sagittarius placements in your chart. But what I see here with the temperance, guys, is you're going to feel at peace. You're stepping into a very abundant space where not only do you feel at peace with yourself, you know, your finances are looking great, um, you know, and there seems to be this 
it's almost like a mental peace of mind that you're attaining for yourself. So the same things that used to bother you won't have that much of an impact on you, right? And even if it's one particular situation, you're no longer consumed by it. The temperance also speaks about, you know, turning the negative into something positive. So this is like alchemist energy, right? So even if you're in a situation and you're not happy with it, or your current circumstances are not exactly, um, you know, working out in your favor, or you're not, you're just not where you want to be, look at the situation and see where, you know, uh, there is some sort of optimism there or see the light side of it. There's a light side and a dark side to every single situation that we're ever in, right? So I do see you, um, you know, turning the negative into positive or at least finding some sort of optimism in a negative situation that you're going through. With the High Priestess, not only do I see your intuition being heightened, I feel like you're intuitively feeling called to do something, okay? So this is kind of giving me like 12th house energy, but it's like something to do with your spirituality. So it's not like you're receiving answers on the forefront, you know, about your job or from your job or from a friend. This is you, you know, doing some sort of deep soul work and saying, you know, why do I feel this way? Or why am I in my own way? There's something that you know that you can change and you're fully in charge of, but this is more so of like an internal issue that is resurfacing for you this week with the high priestess. Okay, guys, an Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, uh, Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Your, um, you know, finances look very, very good here. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I see it as a stable new beginning, <clears throat> and even a beginning that you would actually want to invest in. Then we have the Six of Swords, which is all about finding, you know, a peace of mind. And we have the Hanged Man, which I did speak about. So be careful of feeling very stuck. You know, um, this could be a very stagnant energy where you are having a shift in perspective or you're looking at things differently, but you may find that you are stuck in what, you know, they like to call um, analysis paralysis. So the hanged man is not only about having a shift in perspective, you have to do something with that perspective or that shift in perspective. And so with the six of swords, in order for you to take action, it starts with your mind. There's something about almost needing to center yourself or let go of limiting beliefs or let go of a situation that no longer exists or no longer serves you so that you can actually think about what your next steps are. And with the four of cups and the nine of wands in your potential outcome here, I see something working out for you, but because it took a little long or because you're at a point of feeling drained, you feel like you can't truly enjoy what's coming in for you, but that's not the truth. It's almost like an illusion or it's just something that you impulsively feel because you feel drained. With the Nine of Wands, it's about standing your ground. People are viewing you as, you know, someone who is very strong. Your strength is being admired because the Nine of Wands is like that wounded warrior card. So no matter <clears throat> how many times you fall, you still end up, you know, uh, going to the next step. So your resilience or, or your ability to kind of bounce back from these obstacles are being highlighted here. So I will say with the nine of wands, it is about standing your ground. It is about protecting your energy. So if you feel like, you know, someone or a situation is not safe or it's, you know, uh, bringing down your vibration, <coughs> excuse me, in one way or another, it is about blocking that out. And I think that the main focus for you this upcoming week is going to be, um, you know, forgiving and releasing, uh, you know, things that no longer serve you and finding a peace of mind because when you center and you find a peace of mind you'll be able to think clearly about your next steps and as far as your finances they look good here it's just about focusing on the quality of your work okay so let's see what your closing message is <clears throat> look at this guys Detachment. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside, with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. So detaching, you know, maybe you're you have been attached to a specific outcome. Maybe you have been attached to a person or a situation. But once you detach, that is, you know, usually the time that you attract. So I feel for some of you, again, this week is about forgiving, detaching, releasing. And um, I also feel guys that like you could desire something, you can have a goal in mind, but maybe don't be attached to how it's going to come in for you or have the goal in mind and know it's coming in for you, but 
don't make it, don't let it be something, right? That you obsess over constantly is what I see. So there you go. Your message is detachment. That is what I'm getting for you guys. Um, I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.